the boom's not starting and we're stuck up here. Hi. For real. Kill switch is up. Can That's... we get to the roof? No. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Dustin James in the house, building in a blizzard. Supposed to, I guess it's gonna snow two feet, but we're working under this wing today. So uh, we're gonna start with this first piece of metal. He knows what he's doing more than I do, but I don't know, don't that. you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna figure this out, what could happen. So uh, yeah, we're gonna measure this first piece and uh, cut it and see how it goes. I've got it pressed all the way against the trim. Okay, cool. And I'm pretty much over all the way to the side, right? Now, this is it. <laughs> Is no messing up. There's no extra panels. Took four months of gear from Cali. Can't mess us up. So anyway, we're gonna throw a sheet of this box rib over here, cut it up, see what happens. Send the right one, so oh, he no got way. double the metal. He oh, had to nice. get like another order sent. So he had all this extra <laughs> order. Awesome. So we were able to um okay, so we'll do the jog. The the channel has to go on the right, right? So it's 180. I'll cut with the channel to the right facing the street all the time, I guess. Okay, cool. That way um, we're always like moving the same way as we're moving in the Okay, house. so um, this is the channel? Yeah, yeah, that's the channel. Yeah, so that channel always goes to the right. So like when okay. we're walking up there, it would be like, bam. It would be like, swinging up there like that. Because the channel right. is looker's left? Is that what? No, the channel is looker's, looker's right. right. Yep. Looker's right. Okay, cool. So the other one will just sit down in there. Yep. Okay, cool. So then you're going to cut a notch here. Yep. Oh, yes, yes. that'll be interesting. Oh, yeah, it's all going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, okay, so you just, for this one, we just have that notch and yep. the slope. And it, this should fit down in between there. If not, I'll just cut the stair tread out a little more. It's not a big deal. It's like cut the wood so it just slides in there. Oh. Again. I don't know if you guys oh. just like pop the chalk line across all of them or you just. Yeah, I, mean, I, uh, easy in these. I think we use chalk line okay. for sure. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to cut a slope to a roof into the metal. So the roof up there, the pitch is a 212. So that's about 10 degrees. Super easy to do. If you, all you need is a speed square, you can get these for 10 bucks. Ace Hardware, whatever, Lowe's. And what you're gonna do, yeah, so there's the side of your speed square that says pivot. You put that point that says pivot in the corner of your metal. And you got this part of your speed square that says common. That's basically the slope of your roof. Um, this is a 212 pitch. See that number two? I'm just going to rotate the number two right to the edge of my metal. So it's on the edge of the metal is on two. And the pivot point's right in the corner. That's it. That's your slope right there that you mark. So pinch that in place. And that's it. That's your mark right there. So now we're going to put a level all the way across that. And then we're gonna go straight across all the boxes. And that is the pitch of our roof. As you guys can see up there, the roof is kind of pitched that way. So that's why we cut the metal at an angle like that. So in theory, this should work. If not, then we're in trouble. It's like your common 212 pitch is like about 10 degrees pitch. Oh. Like a 12, 12 is 45 degrees pitch, you know, like a super steep roof. Yep. So, all right. So, um, okay, uh, this is about to get fucking loud. This is about to get western. Yeah. So, this is a trick I saw on YouTube. And uh, you take a wood saw blade and you spin it around backwards, put it on your saw, and you can cut through metal. So, we're going to see if it works. <laughs> no big deal if I screw up. Yep, it's about to get really loud. <laughs> Dude, do you have any more of those? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> My ears are <laughs> ringing, bro. Oh, that is insane, dude. 
That's the loudest thing I've heard in my life. Yeah. I'll get some more earplugs. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, sorry, what, Timmy? Dude, it's great, man. It made it all the way through, too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. See, it's got kind of a deeper channel so that wood saw is kind of a lot nicer than a grinder. I've used grinders on your typical standard sheet metal. Oh, yeah. No, that's epic. Yeah. See this cut? Yeah, and it's like, it, it's clean, that's right? Perfect. That, that that's cut's super, super clean. clean. That's a backwards wood saw blade through this super thick box rib. You guys see that? And that's, that's like two inches thick. Awesome. There you go. Here we go. So we're about to throw the very first metal panel up in the wall. Hopefully this works. We're gonna knock it out pretty fast once we get it, I think. So, yeah, this would have been really fun by myself. <laughs> Open the truth. Come on, baby. <laughs> I think it's going to do it. Yeah, I think so. Right, it's going to work pretty tight. Oh, oh, there we, we go. go. No way. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we gotta get it in this channel. Oh yeah. Let's see. It's like nubs a lot. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, man. Y'all uh, jump. We'll have to slide it. Uh, I'll get up there and we'll slide it up in, and then I'll okay. just sink one and freaking level it out. I guess. Get to their level. Can you see it all? Is it way off? Okay, are you holding it kind of? As much as I can. Yep. Um, it's like an inch up right now. All right, yeah, let's drop it down. Yep. About right there. Okay, that's about that's about a half inch. Okay, let's a little perfect. higher. Okay. Yep. Let's drop it there. Let's see. A little bit. Lined up good like that. Yeah, that looks good, man. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. First piece is hung. Couldn't have done it without the man over here. Yep. Pretty cool. Pretty clean Two looking. Experience. So we're gonna run the uh, next piece, and uh, you can see it butts nice and tight up to the trim. Looks pretty good. Uh, this next piece is gonna get a little bit weird. We're gonna cut around the window and do some things. swinging all over the place. It um, snowed a little bit as you can see. Okay, then we'll pop one in right there. We had a blizzard drop about two and a half to three feet of snow, collapsed the camper shell. The snow blower drive line sheared. That's not working. Cars stuck everywhere. Power was out over 24 hours. Pretty gnarly. Dustin's out here anyway. Yeah, we got Made this. Made it out. So they kind of scratched it a little, dude. With all right, we're gonna watch Tim Johnson cut his finger off. Get better. Dude, that was real smooth. Yep. It cuts way better than that one. Not bad. Flexible. <laughs> I need to start stretching for the season. Get stretch out for the weekend. God. Just yeah. high kicks. <laughs> I just pulled my groin. Yeah, little John Travolta split on this thing. <laughs> it's uh, just the first thing he does is like, you're not doing proper ladder safety. <laughs> yeah. It's like, God, <laughs> we can ride at the grinder with no glasses. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll hire that guy. Take a okay. Oh yeah. Take a okay. Oh yeah, baby. That looks good. Put it in. Perfect. Hey, I gotta take this side up though, cause it's like the right side is sitting way lower. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. 
You need something else to shove up under there? Yeah, I'm gonna need a sticker shit. Yeah, yeah, grab some stuff, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Hang on, yeah. slider, okay. It kind of does, dude. Yeah, it's not a good look, dude. It's like okay. too much gap on that side, right? Like you notice kind of a gap. It looks like you had like a sheet that was too small. Yeah. So I think we should take it down. How's it look? Mm, let me see something. That actually might be okay. If we can still... Oh. It looks reasonable enough up here. It does? Okay, yeah. Let me... Uh, it looks fine up here now. Let me just pop this here. Right here, dude. Okay. Lock yeah. her in. All right. It's just kind of that small piece is like, it looks a little crazy, but it kind of looks cool, dude, like staggered. I can see all the window through. needs to, uh, uh, it needs to get notched out, bottom and top, and then you can slide all of it up. All right, if I can't put this one piece up, I could have never done this without you. Let's see. Okay, cool. Don't bend that down. Here it is, final screw of the wall. There it oh, is. Oh yeah, dude. Yep. Nice. Now we're gonna move around and do uh get the outer wall. I'll show you guys out here. We walk out here. Now we're doing this outer wall there and around the corner, and then uh, onto the big tower up there. The Good morning, everybody. Snow apocalypse. The carnage is not over yet. In my hand, I have the accelerator. A gas pedal that goes to the boom lift outside. It is fried because ice and snow got into it because this freaking storm. That pedal is fried and I can't use the boom lift and I only have it for a few more days and we have to finish. Well, the lift is down. I can't control anything. Dustin's down there controlling the base. <laughs> I figured like we both have to be in here to do any work, but. I'm holding on. Okay, it's not gonna go any higher. Okay, you gotta swing it that way. Okay. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. It's all good. Just go really, try to go as like easy as you can. All right, that should be about it. I'd lift, uh, lift this arm up right here. Yep, I figure we can't do much, but I can at least get the snow off the roof up here off the Starlink. But uh, we're just gonna go do the rooftop deck side of the siding today. And uh, we'll do the front door on the Arctic entry, but obviously we can't do the tower because we both need to be in the basket to put it on. All right, then you can probably, uh, now you can lift that other arm up a little bit. <laughs> oh man. Okay, you're pretty good. Now I uh, telescope it out as much as you can go. All right, we got it. Got the Starlink dish cleaned up. Digging out the metal panels here. So we're moving on to 20 footers. Moving on to 20 so footers. Let's, uh, let's get our new cutting station set so we make sure our angles are, we don't really have angles on this one, but. No, we should put some in though and mess another panel up. That'd be good. We messed up, I messed up one panel. You'll see later. That one's on you. Yeah, it is on me. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it is. Anyway, yeah, we're cutting this one. This is the first panel for the tower, the really tall tower. So we're going to cut this one about 18 feet long or so. All right, we'll get our 20 footer shaved down. It's not quite 20, it's like 18 feet. Oh, Oop. Back a little. So long you can't go anywhere. <laughs> Uh. Then we'll just uh, flip it. Yep. 90, yep. Like that. Okay. And lay my side down and like start going up with yours. Is that what you mean? What we'll do is someone... Line it up until it catches. Oh. Is that what you're thinking? Well, we just need to walk it up. All right. So someone gets at the bottom. Okay. Yep, you go to the bottom. Okay. You got it? Yep. I'll try to guide it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you gotta walk forward. Right. Okay. And now we gotta really go vertical. Right. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> We're almost there. <sighs> Bro, get out vertical and give you a break yeah. for a second. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Can we choose the lift next time, too? <laughs> yep. Are you good? Yep. Get over here. Set it down and you can get around that pipe really quick. What's that? Can you get around that pipe? Get out of the way. Yep. Cool, I'll buy it. All right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we should, be, right. we should be going for on this. Oh, I oh, am. Oh, good. That's all. Oh. Yep. Hey, all right. Up we go. It's getting nice out, though. It's beautiful. Bluebird. I think our idea, we're just going to try to lift this thing up and see what happens. Maybe what we could do too, why don't we set a, let's do one more beside it and then that'll still give us room to taco, you know, and then if this falls for any reason, it'll really it'll actually hold Oh, it. cool, yeah, well, yeah. So now, I guess we can work the top in and we'll just try to taco it and go down, I guess. Like, I don't know how else to, Like, as we go know? down, we'll just try and work yeah, it in so, or, yeah. or, I don't know. Or do, should we start from the bottom? Or maybe the bottom, get the bottom in, then come yeah. back up. Yeah, I might have to cut the bat and put it, pop it back in or something. That's fine. Oh, you got the multi-tool, or do you want to pull this? Oh yeah. It was close. It was so close, dude. Holy hell! I know how I'm gonna get it though. Winging like crazy. There it is. You got her? Yep. Just have to reach us. Actually, I gotta cut that anyway because the bat will go right there. All right, yeah, so dude. actually, that should just hold it in place. I don't yeah, even think we got to screw it in. It's not going anywhere. The boom's not starting, and we're stuck up here. All For right. real. Kill switch is up. Gas pedal's not pressed. It's not turning on at all. Why is it not turning on? Don't know, but that's a... Should start keeping a rope up here. <laughs> it's definitely not turning on. Yeah, I don't think the snow bank is good enough for me to like jump into. No, you don't want to jump into. No. We're stuck uh, about, I don't know, 25 feet up in the air right now. So Can that's... we get to the roof? No. <laughs> so close. I know, so close to here. Hoist me up. Help. <laughs> Help. Uh, I'll call Vesna, I guess, down the street or something. Yeah. I never told you I'm afraid Rip. of heights. Oh, yeah? Yep. Well. Yep, you're just gonna have to. You're gonna. We're gonna have to play with this or something. What the hell? Kill it for a second. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and let's just start. start banging it with the level up. There it okay. goes. Oh. Okay, dude. I wonder if it's the if it's the wiring from this. When we get down, we should like yeah, put a heat on this and, um, yeah. and check the wiring for Try that. Again. Because once you had lights, it was good, right? That's what Fire. you said? I don't know, it's just... Hey man, would you be able to save us? <laughs> the, uh, it's just gonna be started down there in the boom. I can walk you through it, it's pretty easy. Thank you, this thing just stopped on us. There's like a key and you twist it all the way right. Yep. And then uh, on the top left, there's like this big button you press in. And while you're pressing that in, there's uh, one down below it. It's like a kind of a start button that you have to twist. Nice, dude, you got it. <laughs> now can you take that key and uh, twist it all the way left? Sweet, thank you, man. Now wait, we don't know if it works though. Yeah. Okay, it works. So we're not turning this don't, off ever again. Don't turn this off ever again. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> oh man. Neighbor just saved us. Thank you! Is that the idea here? I think so. That's a pretty funny video right there. <laughs> Stuck in a boom. Yeah. In a blizzard. Yeah. All right, you. It's actually a blizzard. Okay, we're around it. Okay. It's gonna. It's tweaking though on that window. That's our issue. Oh yeah. Okay, perfect. We probably get it up. It's a little more stable. Yeah, exactly.
Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. Oh yeah. That's looking so good, dude. Okay, we are in. We just need a reverse taco now. Dude, all we gotta do is reverse taco and we're good as long as that's good, dude. This might be the best one we've ever done. Do part of it. Like one little tiny piece of metal in this whole freaking tower. Ugh. God, that went in so good. Kind of did. Oh no, it's oh. I gotta put him. Oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, hey, let me. Oh. That was a little close. And yeah, the drone is making noise. I'm like, why is it making noise? If we're going up and about to hit it with the boom. But this, the next piece just goes from the bottom of the window. Yep. There it is. Been, been out here maybe <laughs> six hours later. <laughs> or maybe not. If five hours later, we get like. I think we've been doing about five hour days. Yep. Like 11.30 to 5.30 today. Yep. <sighs> See the old two wheel drive Corolla on slicks <laughs> makes it out over here. There we go. Goose it. <laughs> yeah, yeah right in the ditch. Later, dude. Successful day. We got two panels up. I guess technically three, but I screwed up first thing in the morning as you guys saw and cut it wrong. So luckily we got an extra sheet of metal. Anyway, um, see you in the morning. Yeah. All right, we're here again. Guess what I was doing? It's freaking dumping again. We got it though. Dustin spent the night in the camper. I think it was it comfortable, man. You're like, it was great, but you're yeah. gonna have to really work to get that smell out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that urine smell? Yeah, the urine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway. I could this find is... a piss jug anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. You could use mine. It's in there. Oh, okay. The wood stove. That'd be weird though. Yeah. It's just a vitamin water bottle. <laughs> yeah. So the that camper shell snapped in half right there. I think it's pretty fixable. Just put a sleeve over it. So the storm just collapsed that, collapsed the top. So we get lucky. Anyway, um, we're gonna start working in the tower here. In this weather, we will get that boom for two more days. Light. Oh, I'm okay. Let's see. Yeah, just one. Can't believe it didn't break more than that. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Right. Yeah, clamp and sleeve and drill through each side of it, maybe. And the reason we're taking taking that top rod is because I'm going to put the sled deck in here later. Oh, I can knock all your teeth out with the bar. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, cool. Where should we go with this? Oh, just in the garage, man. That's fine. i throw these cones and stuff in there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy it will not stop snowing. Okay, to the left. Yep. Okay. I'll give a minute for the glow plug to kind of warm up. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, in business. We're up at the top, man. About 42 feet down. This is our last jog right here, so we're gonna measure this dog leg here. Then we cut, it, cut one more skinny piece over there. Pop the cedar board in right there. And this wall is done. Hopefully this weather just uh, doesn't get worse than this. They come in on the drone with us here. How's that thing doing in the wind? It's uh, pretty pretty sketchy, bro. <laughs> it's pretty sketchy. Oh yeah, I just swing it right by that 5G tower. Yeah. <laughs> hurry up, man. You ready? <laughs> I think so. Fat one, oh, man. Well, he has a one inch or easy. 
All right, I'm gonna rotate it towards the house a little bit. That was nice and smooth, buddy. Smooth as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Try to go a little bit more here, hold on. What? Look at the jog. Oh, we didn't cut the top yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. God. All right. Kind of, yeah, okay, we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Clown construction. <laughs> Jester and village idiot builders. Yep, owner and flopperator. <laughs> Line erratic. Jesus. <laughs> He's having a seizure. I'm going to try to grab it, I guess. You're going to try and grab it up here? Got to. Battery's going to die. Well, oh, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> Dude, the wind is just being violent right now. I'll try this at home, kids. <laughs> Good job, dude. <laughs> you know, 40 feet up in the air. No big like deal. Like an angry bee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, an angry bee was a pretty good description. Yeah. The storm has subsided. The gorgeous out. We're drilling in the final holes here. Pretty crazy. And we're going to be moving around to this other side in a second. What do I uh, do like? Two and then yeah, let's do yeah. Let's, I think uh one, oh. two, maybe three on that top. Uh, when we pop this in, I yep. want you to hold this over. Yeah, yeah. To see it's how it's like pulling. Yeah. yeah. The wind picking up is crazy. Just blasting the trees. Hopefully, you know, this roof doesn't avalanche on us up here. He's gonna like handles. <laughs> it's gonna avalanche on us up here. Holy! I just chill here for a second. Those are those afternoon winds they were talking about. <laughs> Damn! Look at that. Just blowing the frost. No big deal. We're just 40 feet in the air above this sloped roof. This might be a little tight. A silicone wall in this one again. Uh, I'm just gonna tell everybody I built this place. Yeah, you just tell them. Oh yeah. Nice. That's a nice bead you're laying there, bro. Yeah, man. Cool. Ooh. Feel my fingers. Uh, and then we'll yeah, where are we going? get the, uh, down to get two more nails in there. Then we're getting the air compressor and we're oh, yeah, coming yeah. back up and blasting. Back up. Just finished it. Yeah, it's either that uh, trim on the right or that bottom right panel. Yep. Might want to pull over a little more, but that also could just be the trim off. Oh yeah, might be. Nice man. Pretty good. It's pretty decent. Oh man, good thing we're not up there now. God, that's loud. It's coming through, look out there. <laughs> it's just <sighs> ripping. Uh. <sighs> Bam. We got a panel. All right, now let's hope that wind dies. <laughs> this should be easy. This will go great. Yeah. Remember the last rectangle we cut? Yeah, totally. One of all of them. Yeah, I lost a finger. <laughs> I'll cut you. <laughs> all right, guys. This is the final day of the boom rental. We have to finish today. We got about eight panels to finish. 
Uh, Dustin spent the night in the truck house, so right now I'm driving down and I'm gonna get us two fat breakfast burritos down the street here in my little hometown. And uh, that way it'll hold us over for most of the day. Luckily it did not snow again overnight, but this is insane. This is the third time, the third day of snow in Alaska basically, so it snowed three times. And we have this much snow within three snows. It's pretty nuts. It's gonna be a big winter. So the boom rental company is coming tomorrow morning to pick up the boom and I have to fly out to Barrow, Alaska tomorrow morning to go do some uh, other work that I do. All right, get some pretty bomb breakfast burritos. Dustin's just waking up in the camper, got him some coffee going and uh, he's gonna go warm the boom lift up so that it works. As you guys saw, we we're having problems getting it working and uh, it's not the company's fault or anything. It just snowstormed all crazy and got wet and uh, just iced over all the controls. Unfortunately, I've lost about a day and a half worth of time just defrosting the boom and trying to get the ice out every morning. You have to leave it for like two to three hours under the heater to get the controls to work, but I think we're gonna get it. Knock on wood, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's kind of sweet there's a place to walk between the houses. I wasn't planning on that. Eventually, all this stuff will be like out of here too. This will be some good GoPro footage. Oh, this feels pretty good. Oh. I know. <laughs> Dude, the second I said that. <laughs> so we use these vice grips to pinch the drip edge at the bottom of the metal and keep the bottom from sliding off while we're holding the top. In theory, it's worked a couple times. Back in the game. Yeah, yeah second like thing was like slightly higher, but not too much. Yep. sideways too so it won't catch it you know oh yeah it's kind of like that yeah oh nice dude yeah then it got more like uh grab area yep see that's thing we start figuring it out at the last and then we're done i know then you're done we <laughs> need to figure it out all right you want to balance it and i'll just go up left that avalanche and snow last night a little safer i might be able to help hold this in two cell let's see we could probably just do the shimmy up yep oh it should pre-drill a uh, a sinker yeah, right there. I'm right above it. Just keep it from going on us. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll hold the, yeah, I think last time we just grabbed the top and went up, you know, that way we don't have to do, like, okay. get that workout. All right, so you'll just kind of like grab one side and I'll grab the other? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna get some. Let me go up a little more, hold on. Oh. Oh. Hang in there. I'm in there. Oh. All right. Way off over here. Yep. Get a good got, grip on your side of that slip. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm gonna slide it over. All right. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry, making some weird noises here. All right. Oh, we're gonna have a taco. Oh, we need to come over this way. Well, I gotta get that in there. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's gonna come out. All right. Nice. Take this top and bend it out a little bit. Maybe swing the bottom under. Let's take a screw and then just go to that bottom and like slide the bottom over. <laughs> I was a little nervous in that one for a minute. Go down a little. Ah, don't fall off. Oh, we hanging up on. Our, it could be our notch, and it could be just that. Oh yeah, maybe the notch is not. I bet that notch isn't deep enough. Look at that. Yeah, I try to pry, not on that. Is nice. Over a little bit, and it'll be there. No, actually, go back. Wait, uh, try that again. One more. <laughs> All right, y'all, cutting the second to last piece with the boom, so almost got it. This is gonna be interesting though. It's getting squeezed in between the houses. I'll show you in a second. This will be more technical. Yeah, it'll be a little more technical. The blade, I bought my first metal blade the other day. And uh, the reason I bought a metal blade is because I was YouTubing and I saw online that you can take a saw blade 
for wood and turn it backwards and then you can cut metal with it with just circular saw. So the metal blade, for some reason, it's like the label. It's like, I don't know. You just have to pay attention to which way stuff rotates. That's all it is. But the label is on backwards. So like it looks wrong, but this is right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. No, it's okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just like, well, I'd be like, it's yeah, we're cutting it, we were using it the wrong way. Yeah, it's it's the like, wrong way. You should see it. Because we have like some clips for sure of like it cutting it before, you know? Oh, yeah. Like a before and after. Boom. Sounds like an electronic show. It sounds like Mandalorian. Yeah. It looks like Mandalorian. <laughs> Can't sleep. You walk around the corner, he's just in the hot tub. Oh, that's funny. I had to set wrong. <laughs> I set to come oh, shallow. Too, yeah, shallow. Like, Man, that's going really easy. Still made it through all the boxes. Metal blade, guys. Are you gonna show them where it is over there? Yeah, dude, we'll have to show them that iPhone video I got of you getting savage Oops. with the grinder. Jesus, Jimmy. Bam. So, we were, uh, as you can see, this is our metal right here. It's about the same, same as this, but it had to squeeze in between here. And, uh, Timmy just got up here and just went absolutely savage on this old roof. But it's in. And we just have one more easy piece, right, Tim? Yep, that's it. It's just yeah. an easy piece, right? That's it. You keep saying these pieces are gonna get easier. I mean, this one was just a rectangle. <laughs> like a needle in a haystack where we had to fit it in between. They'll really be able to see it in a second once it's freaking new. We've been peeling this stuff off at the bottom, but left it on now because uh, we knew we'd have to be scratching it up a little bit. Good about an hour, a little over an hour before it starts getting dark and the boom rental guy comes either it's night or in the morning to pick this up. So this is it. We're literally finishing the house perfectly in time. Well said. We're going to get this thing done at like seven tonight. He's going to call and be like, hey man, you can have it for another week. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, it seems too good to be true, but 
we are literally putting on the last two pieces of siding on this house, no joke. Right above the main door and right beside it, there's two sheets of the box rib sheet metal, which we get a cut to fit in there, pop it into place into the trim, and we're done. I just finished the spiral staircase tower on the deck last night, so I'll show you guys the tower is totally done. Yeah, so you guys can see the tower up top next to the sheds, totally finished. Pretty cool. So we're gonna take these measurements and cut some metal, throw it up there, and be done with it. And our next project is moving on to the exterior railing, which I know a whole bunch of you guys have been commenting on. So we're gonna start off in the stairs here, get that taken care of first, and then move up to the rooftop deck, do the cable railing all up there. And eventually, once the house is finished, or close to finish, I'll do the cable railing inside and the stairs on all levels, so that's the plan. Here's our sheet of metal here, so let's get it cut down to size. This first panel we're cutting is small enough to where I just need to use a scrap, which is awesome. I actually wound up having a lot of leftover boxer metal, uh, maybe four to five sheets, so I can use that on the interior in some cool spots. I have to get creative with it, but we'll see. First sheet is 31 and a quarter inches. piece here let's go throw it up all this metal siding stuff was extremely intimidating when I first started it because I'd never done it before just didn't know anything about it only done wood siding and even that I haven't done a ton of but uh, I don't know I just took my time and kind of watched a lot of YouTube asked a couple questions to some friends that had done it before and uh, just figured it out I did my corners a little bit different I did like a copper corner 90 and then put my trim on top of that so it left like this cool reveal instead of just doing a 90 degree corner cover and just picture framed all the metal so I think it'll look cool so I'm gonna put some foam enclosure strips up top and uh, looking pretty good it's gonna, this is gonna be the weird one. This is our last piece of metal. So we're gonna measure the dog leg and the width and height and all that stuff. But uh, it's also not an angled cut like it was over here. So it should be nice. minutes later there's our piece let's go see if it fits see why the corner trim is tricky right there just trying to get in the drip edge and fitting everything in everywhere so let's lock it down and uh, looking pretty good here just finished the siding feels pretty good to be completely done with the metal siding that was it so the garage door comes in tomorrow so we'll be installing that this week and uh, we'll start getting all that cable railing up now pretty cool